guys, today we are talking about the urinary system, and you can see that I'm in the abdominal cavity because there's intestines here. Uh, you can still see the rectum exposed there. And this structure here is the kidney. And so here you can see the kidneys exposed. It's kind of easy to tell that that's what it is. But the kidneys in the pig and other mammals are actually what we call retroperitoneal. Retroperitoneal means that it is actually going to be covered by this membrane called peritoneum that lines the inside of this abdominal cavity. So if I move these intestines over off to the side, you can actually see the other kidney that I did not clean up. And there's a membrane that's covering it. And again, that membrane is peritoneal. So typically the kidneys are kind of um, back behind that tissue and it's a little bit harder to identify them until you clean that off. So let's go back to our one that's already cleaned up. And here you can see that there are some blood vessels that are leading into the kidney. And so this huge blood vessel here is the descending aorta. So this is the branch of the aorta from the heart that kind of came down to the lower part of the body. And just behind there, it's kind of hard to see it, is the vena cava. So that post, um, posterior vena cava that was going into the heart, carrying the oxygenated blood, um, it is running alongside of there. So. In this little bundle here, you have a renal artery that's carrying blood that has waste, and that waste gets filtered into the kidneys, and then once it gets clean, it gets put back into circulation through a renal vein that puts it back into this vena cava to go back to the heart. So those blood vessels there, renal artery, renal vein, and then you have your kidneys, and then now, once that blood is filtered, the items that were filtered out, that waste product, is gonna form urine, and that urine is gonna leave the kidneys through this tube here called the ureter. The ureters, there's one on either side, so there's this one and then there's the one leading from the kidneys on the other side. Those ureters are going to lead down here to the urinary bladder. So the urinary bladder is this long tube that's actually in between these two umbilical arteries. So remember we talked about the umbilical arteries in our first dissection video because those were the blood vessels that were in this umbilical cord. So there were two umbilical arteries and then there was an umbilical vein, this little guy right here that we cut, and that umbilical vein was also visible in that little opening as well. So the urinary bladder is in between there, and these ureters come in, you can kind of see where they attach to that. So urine flows from these ureters out of the kidneys and then enter to the urinary bladder, and that's where it gets stored, and it's going to leave and exits out of the urethra. Now, here's where we're going to pause for a minute, because the urethra looks a little bit different in males and females. So this is my male specimen. Um, and so we're going to dissect a few things here, and we're going to come back and talk about the reproductive system, and then we'll revisit where that urethra is, and we'll also look at where it's located in the female as well, and as we look at her reproductive organs also. So if you need some time to go back and review and look over the video and those structures associated with the urinary system, make sure you do that. Also make sure you watch the other short video that's linked on um, the instructions that gives an overview of the process of producing urine.